guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Tampa Honda because guess what? We have it for you first on Rady's Rides. This is the refreshed new 2020 Honda Civic Si. So let's talk about the Honda Civic Si. For so many years, it was the go-to for affordable performance and of course that Honda reliability. We are now in the tent generation, which first made its appearance in 2017. There was a lot of controversy, not only because of the styling, but also because what was underneath the hood. For the first time in a Civic Si, there was a turbocharged inline four engine instead of the naturally aspirated one. With this 2020 model, Honda decided to continue the generation, but make a few changes based off of what Honda fans and buyers and potential buyers wanted. So let's go ahead and find out what exactly is changed, what's new, for the 2020 Honda Civic Si. Right off the bat, the first thing that you should notice is the front end of the business. They did a refresh on the front fascia and the rear fascia. You can see how they got rid of that large fake vent. They decided to bring some color match bodywork. So this piece right here is obviously gonna match whatever color you get. This one is rally red, so that's why this new divider here is rally red. I like the way that they smoothed everything out nothing meant to look like a fake vent. It actually has a fog lamp still located in both corners. The new thing besides this area is as we pan up, all new LED headlights, first time on a Civic Si. I like the way they blacked out most of the housing inside and it really allows it to kind of fall in line with the Civic Type R having LED headlights. As we come across the front, I really think that the way they shaped the front end of the business for 2017 gave it a distinctive look. There is a lot of gloss black, which over time kind of doesn't really fare well when it comes to taking a beating from rocks and pebbles, but definitely the rally red with the gloss black, the Honda emblem, that really matches perfectly. You can see our SI badge, sports injected. That's what it stands for. And then the lower portion here, they went with a flat black, little bit of a lip spoiler that kind of all blends in very nicely from one side to the other. Now, here's a little fun fact. If you ever see a Honda Civic Si, the reason why the Honda emblem is like this instead of red and silver is because the red and silver is saved for the Type R, those high performance models. And it goes all the way back to Honda's Formula One days in the 1960s. As we go up, same body lines coming from the front fascia, onto the hood, very distinct, and it really gives a nice flow to the front end of the car. Now, as we come around, here's an all new change for 2020. We have an updated wheel design. So this is an 18 inch wheel, flat black. I like the direction that they went in this wheel. It has a better look that really works, especially with the red, the rally red on this car. With the SI over your standard Civic, you're gonna get increased rotors, calipers, so that's gonna help with your stopping capabilities. You also have, remember, adaptive dampers on a Civic Si. That was first time for 2017. And then of course, being front wheel drive, in between these front wheels, you're gonna have a limited slip differential that's gonna make sure that the performance gets to the ground. Now, as we keep working our way down, one of the things that I am gonna zonk is I don't like the chrome strip that they put, especially on the sedan. This, you have an option. You could go coupe. This one is the sedan. I kind of feel the chrome doesn't go with the sports injected theme. So I wish we could take that out. You get a standard with the SI sunroof. So the fun thing about the SI is if you don't like making choices, there's not many choices to be had when it comes to options. You're really just gonna have to go with your color choice or whether you want a coupe or a sedan, everything else is pretty much you check off SI and you get the car that you get. But really liking the way that those wheels work, front end and rear. As we come to the rear, here's where we're gonna see more changes. So you still have your standard trunklet spoiler for this sedan. It's a little bit lower than the coupe. The coupe is actually a pedestal, a, a pedestal style where it actually is raised a little bit higher. You can see the uh, Tail lights design with the Civic, very distinctive. And then here's the change. They decided to take another piece of bodywork into this fake grill area. Now there is still some fake grill, but they shrunk it down and they brought in the bodywork to color match with that rally red color on this particular one. And then you have that very large 
HDMI style exhaust outlet, which, you know, it's clean because it goes with the lines of the car. It's just not the most attractive. I wish that they would go with a nice, just twin exhaust right in the center. But why don't we go ahead, pop the hood, and talk about what's powering the Civic Si. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. Honda's still using a prop rod, so we are gonna zonk that, but underneath the hood, we're definitely not zonking anything. There's no plastic cover to be seen. What you're looking at is a 1.5 liter inline four. Like I said earlier, this one is turbocharged. You're looking at 205 horsepower, and then all being transmitted through a six-speed manual transmission. I hope you know how to drive manual because that is the only way to get a Honda Civic Si. Now, what they did was, is they've actually, for 2020, besides the facelift, besides the LED, the 18-inch wheels, they now added a shorter drive ratio. So Honda is saying that you're gonna get a faster acceleration time out of your Civic Si for 2020 compared to 2019. Zero to 60 in about 5.9, six seconds flat. MPGs is where the Si is a winner. For a car to be fun to drive, have some performance, 28 in the city, 38 on the highway, and you have 192 pound-feet of torque. What's wonderful about this setup is you're gonna get that awesome Honda reliability, and the shifter in these SIs is very smooth and very uh, engaging to get into each gear. But while we go ahead, we check that underneath the hood, let's fire up this SI and see what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 refreshed Civic Si. I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, they actually handled some of the complaints that I had. You know, the front fascia I really wasn't in love with when I first saw the 2017. I'm digging this one. How much is it? MSRP is a tick under $26,000. Now, the 2020 is $700 more than last year, but you'll see you are getting some differences besides just some of the outside styling and whatnot. Let's go to the door panels. I really like what's going on with the red stitching there. Very nice on the back portion of the door. The armrest is still hard as a rock, so I wish Honda would address something with that because it's just very uncomfortable to even rest your elbow or arm. I like the uh, gunmetal gray trim just to kind of break it up from the sea of black material but other than that you're going to get nice soft material at the top of the door just not soft on the armrest when you come to the dash all soft here you have this faux carbon fiber which looks pretty good to be honest with you you got some of that gum metal gray trim more soft material with the simulated stitching then here's a change for 2020 they took a note from the type r so this trim that almost looks like brushed red aluminum is brought into the cabin on the driver in the middle and on the driver's side it goes from this port this point right here all the way over to on the left of the steering wheel and then you're still going to have that same infotainment system remember they brought back the volume knob everybody could sleep soundly now uh, about freaking out about how you're going to adjust your volume but you do have very nice easy to swipe features apple carplay android auto and for the first time on the civic si you're getting all of honda's sensing technology so lane keep assist blind spot monitoring, all those goodies. You get dual climate control with your Civic Si. Seats are heated, but they're not ventilated. And then you have a Honda setup of their dual um, center console. So if you look on the side, you can see my hand down here. It's because it's two different levels, but you have a cord to actually plug in your phone. Down here though, you do have all your connectivity with USBs and all that. And then here's the shifter, unique to the Si. I do like the look with the leather on the shift knob, the aluminum. Short throws, is it the same as the Type R gearbox? No, it is not the same as the Type R gearbox, but it is a really, really nice, smooth shifting transmission. Electric e-brake, this button right here is gonna change your modes, which like I said, it's not just a thing to change the parameters of how the engine delivers power, but also you have adaptive suspension, which is really nice at this price point. Two cup holders, key fob. Here's your key fob, your traditional Honda key fob. I wish they would give you a SI specific key fob would be really nice. 
that same kind of material, cloth material, I'm zonking it. I don't like it. I wish they would put some kind of leather in here. Uh, it's a little hard, but Honda does a great job with utilizing the space. There's another USB in here, which is great. And then the seats have been updated. They brought some red into the seats. I like the style. I like the pattern. And even though they're full cloth, the, they're very, very durable. The material I could tell right off the bat just by rubbing it is very durable. And the look and the comfort bolstering feels good. I'm six feet tall. Even with the sunroof, I got plenty of headroom. You could do a track day in an SI. You can do an autocross event. That's what Honda wants you to do. They want you to go out and enjoy driving again. But why don't you come on over to the business end? I'll show you behind the wheel of this 2020 SI. All right, guys, business end of the deal. Now, you do have manual controls on the seat, but like I said, at this price point, $26,000, I still think you're getting a lot of car for the money. Even the pedals. I love the way Honda has those beautiful aluminum pedals. Real easy to heel toe downshift if you don't know how to do it. Call me up, I'll teach you. Great size dead pedal. I just wish they would make the dead pedal aluminum to match the other pedals. Steering wheel is perfect. I love the thickness, the shape. It's not flat bottom, but that's okay. Everybody seems to be doing that, so it's kind of nice to have something different. You got the red contrast stitching, crisscross contrast stitching. They still kept these same style buttons, which they work well. I just don't like the plastic that's over them. It kind of makes them look really kind of cheap. This button here is important because as we go to the dash, you'll see that you have a full setup there of all digital display. You have the digital bars for your coolant and your fuel, and then the center there, you could actually scroll through different information. So right there is the boost gauge and throttle input. We could keep moving here and you could just make a standard boost gauge right in the center. So it's really great to be able to kind of configure this. They even have a, a G meter for when you're doing your track days or whatnot. You have a stopwatch to time yourself. And then like I pointed out earlier is you have the, the sport mode, which I'm gonna have Tom kind of come back in real quick to show you that sport mode. So what you do is you hit the sport button and then sport is off. When you put sport on, you see how it shows your Civic Si? The suspension is gonna get a little stiffer and then things get more red on the dash because like we know, red means race. And of course, I picked an SI that's rally red. But while we go ahead, everything's looking good here. Let's check out the back seat in this Civic SI sedan and see how usable it is back there. All right, guys, we're in the back seat of this Civic SI sedan. It's amazing. You know, the SI is a compact car. The Civic is a compact car. And you can see just how much room I have back here. Plenty of headroom, plenty of space for my legs. My only complaint, the Zonk, knock, knock, who's there? Guess what? There's no USB or even a 12 volt. So I would like to see a change there. You do get a nice armrest though. It's nicely padded with two cup holders, but I really think especially for the sedan, I could get, I guess with the coupe, you could say not many people are gonna be sitting in the back, but for the sedan, I would like to see at least a 12 volt so I could go buy an adapter at Walmart to be able to charge up my phone and whatnot. But why don't we go ahead, check out the trunk, because I'm telling you, we're gonna see some surprises there. All right, guys, Here's this is a place where you're gonna be surprised. So remember, this is a compact car, it's a sporty car. You open up the trunk though, and bam, look at all that room that Honda gives you. And that's what makes this car so versatile. If you have a family, but you still wanna have fun driving, say when you were younger, you had a Civic Si, you want to be able to continue that. It's nice to have options. You're going to have that 60-40 split. So easy to do just by pulling the handles to flap those seats down. You could put some things in there to go do your autocross event. Or if you're going to Home Depot and picking something up, you could get some extra room by folding those seats down. But while we get to the best part of any Civic Si, let's go ahead. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take it for a spin. All right, guys, we're leaving Tampa Honda. We're in the 2020 refreshed Honda Civic Si. I'm in second gear, rolling on throttle. I'm telling you right now, you can feel a difference with that revised final drive ratio. It really does have a little bit quicker pace to the acceleration. And I'm really thinking 5.9 seconds is a legit time in a 2020 Honda Civic Si. I don't know if you heard, but as I climbed in the revs to Redline, you do get a shift light and an audible sound telling you to shift. But let's go ahead and do that again, second gear. 
Now, there is still that infamous rev hang, which to me is a downside. Um, I'm very curious as to why Honda keeps that um, with the Honda Civic Si and the Type R, but I love the sound. I really feel like they did something with the revision of the exhaust where the sound is, it definitely feels a, what you'd expect out of a Honda Civic Si. Visibility is still great. The seats are amazing. Uh, you know, the, the shifter is nice and crisp and the throws are short. Is it as mechanical feeling and as short throw as a Honda Civic Type R? No, but you're still getting, for the price, remember $26,000, you're getting um, a really, nice engaging car to drive and remember this is front wheel drive but you do have the lsd the limited slip differential makes a huge difference and if you have not driven a stick shift yet and you want to learn you can actually do it on this civic si clutch um pedal very light and the pickup point is in the sweet spot to help ease that if you want me to teach you give me a buzz i'll teach you you get a honda civic si i'll teach you on your own Honda Civic Si, how to drive a manual. But overall, what you're getting for the money in this car is definitely on point. And I'm liking the revisions to the bodywork. I think uh, for me at least, with the fake vents, especially up front, they handled that on acceleration first gear. So you heard again, the sound to shift. I like that. I think that really helps just with the whole uh, environment of when you are doing a track day or an autocross event. But I'm, I'm digging the sound. It really has a different sound compared to the 2019. Just that rev hang is not my favorite thing when shifting. Kind of makes it a little awkward. But the pedals are nicely placed. I'll go ahead and put it in sport mode. We have the whole gauge layout turns red, which is really nice. And then you're even going to get quicker acceleration. That's third gear. I'm impressed. I'm telling you right now, if you have a 2017 and you're like on the fence, you're like, man, I kind of like to have the latest Civic Si. Is there really that much of a difference? There is. There really is that much of a difference with the uh, adjustment to that final drive ratio. The gearing is everything. Gearing is everything in a car. But still, very smooth, very good. Even in sport mode, the uh, suspension is not going to build you, uh, beat you up, even though it is on the sniffer sus uh, suspension setting. And for that price, I'm telling you, it really, uh, it's really nice to have those types of features. All right, guys, driving around in this SI, one thing I noticed, at least in the sedan, is the visibility out that back window is on the tighter side. Um, the good news is that spoiler is not the way. It's just that the angle of the glass um, and the way that the area behind the rear seats kind of is raised um, quite a bit it does make it a little tight but side mirrors work great out the windshield it's a piece of cake i like the way that the hood kind of just curves down but we're going to get to a little area that i know of with some twisties around here so that we could show off the handling capabilities of this 2020 civic si because i'm i promise you front wheel drive car i know all the hoot and hollering is about the type r you still should not um you know look over the si and forget about it because definitely for the value you're getting a lot uh, of money with uh with the si and with the sedan you have that lane watch that honda lane watch is really cool when you turn on your right turn single you get the image of what's going on the right hand side of the car right on the infotainment system. All right, guys, let's see how the handling is in the Civic Si. Second gear into this right-hand bend on the brakes. Really nice. Look at this. This is what the car is all about. It is fun, fun, fun to drive. Leaving it in second gear through that twisty bit section. Really nice. And I'm telling you, I'm loving the sound that they have in here. It's the perfect Civic Si sound. Not too loud, not too obnoxious, but just enough to let you know, hey, you have some sports injected into your Honda. Because that's what it is, it's a Honda Civic Si. All right guys, one more time through the twisty bits here. Second gear, third gear, into fourth, on 
on the brakes, down to third, down to second. Look at this. This is great. Brakes feel great. Feedback is phenomenal. On the brakes, decreasing radius. That LSD really giving me the grip that I need from the front end to get the traction down. Very nicely done. Honda really has a power pack punch package. Say that 20 times fast in this Honda Civic Si. They sprinkled just a few changes. They, we're not ready for a redesign with this car yet. I'm excited for when they do redesign it, but for right now, I think they did just enough. Get some new buyers in, maybe get some people that have a 2017. They wanna get the latest and greatest. Get them in, because you're getting a lot for the money. But we're gonna go ahead, wrap this one up, and get back to Tampa Honda, and I'll see you in a Civic Si second. All right, guys, it's been a wonderful day getting to take this SI for a spin, see some of the changes. You know what? It definitely is hitting that sweet spot price point wise where you could have a car, like I said, that's fun to drive, has some performance, and you could do a bazillion different things with it. But I definitely got to thank John and the rest of the crew here at Tampa Honda for allowing us access to this brand new 2020 Civic SI. If these are the types of things you want to keep seeing on Randy's Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee. He's digging this Civic Si. He's seeing where he could put some weights, some protein and whatnot. So wish him well on all his weightlifting endeavors. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.